I grew up here in La Cunada, California, just right outside LA. And as a kid, I was pretty athletic. Um, I wasn't, I wouldn't say I was gifted really in anything, but the youngest of four, I was pretty competitive. So my family, we would go surf a lot. I remember like every Tuesday, Thursday in the summer as a kid, my mom would take us to Huntington Beach. And there's so many hills here, we would go skate all the time. That's just what, that was probably what my childhood consisted more of was skating. So that was a big thing. And then I just did every camp under the sun. I did every basketball camp, soccer camp, softball camp. I just did them all. When Luge came to town, my dad had heard about it through a friend and I remember he came up to me, he crouches down next to me and he goes, I heard about this thing, you know, this is what they do. They have these wheeled sleds, they push you down this hill. Um, do you want to go, do you want to go try it? And I thought, sure. And he goes, are you, are you okay? Like, are you sure you really want to do this? And I thought, yeah, that, why not? What's, what's the big deal? So I went and tried out and I got chosen to go. And so I went to Lake Placid, New York, but I got cut my very first time because I was too little, I was too short, I wasn't strong enough and I tried out the next year and then I got called back and didn't get cut from then on so. She had the experience of being laid out of the start house earlier this year so hopefully she can take that experience and really calm her nerves and put down a really good run here. A former junior world champion. She did break a bone in her foot in an October training accident on this course in Park City, but now a good start on race day here today. She is poised to get the spot behind Erin Hamlet on the U.S. women's team with a solid run here. I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. Really gotta let the sled do its work here. Let the sled run. team at the time I crashed the most out of everyone and it was so discouraging and it made me cry every day and so many times I just thought why am I doing this sport this is so stupid but there was something inside of me that just wanted to prove everyone wrong that I could do it and being the only you know once all these kids got weeded out I was the only one from California and I mean it's two opposite worlds I remember every time I come back to high school my friends would be like oh how was vacation I'd be like this was not vacation this was the worst and it's just such a foreign concept to anywhere down in Southern California so it was a tough tough transition but I've I've learned a lot there's one phrase I've always remembered through my whole career one of our family friends his name is Carl Duke Carl this is for you he said when I was younger when you get on TV and it says Kate Hansen from California people are gonna laugh at you and I thought I know and he goes they are gonna laugh at you that you are in a winter sport and they're just gonna laugh and I thought yeah you're so right and so I just that's been I've held on to that up until now and I probably will the rest of my life When I came into the Olympic season, I broke my foot and I thought there's no way I can finish the season with a broken foot. I've trained my whole life just to break my foot. This, this would happen to me. It was so discouraging because every day I'd wake up and I'd think, this is a joke, someone's playing a joke on me. I've worked my whole life to break my foot before Olympic trials. I couldn't think of anything worse. I was on crutches, I was in a boot. I just acted like nothing was wrong and I just went for it like I do every race and I just happened to win. So coming into the games, I was just so excited to be there because it was everything I ever worked for. All the amount of times that I had broken bones, concussions, sprained, who knows, 
every time I was cussed out, every time I was yelled at, every time just I defended myself for who I was and every time I just was told I wasn't good enough, just all, I just like went through all those moments when I walked into opening ceremonies. It was the most unreal journey I could have ever imagined for myself. And looking at it logistically, being a California girl, not only just from like California, but Southern California where it's hot and we go to the beach and that's what we do. And, and I grew up surfing, I grew up boogie boarding and just wanting to lay in the sand all day. And to even hear about this opportunity to be in a sport is pretty random. And then to do it and to actually get on a team for it, so weird. And then to not only get on a team, but then excel and win medals and break records, is just unbelievable. And then yet alone to make the Olympic team for a winter sport coming from Southern California, it's easily a modern day pool runnings. I, and everyone always tells you, you can do whatever you want as long as you want it. I honestly have, never felt so strong about that. You could take a kid from Alaska and make him a beach volleyball player or make him a surfer. I, like there's no, there's no barrier, there's no stereotype. And people always ask, what is one piece of advice you tell other people? And I would say, don't let other people tell you no because there's no stereotype for anything.